This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey there everyone and welcome back to In Range. I'm Cameron Harris and this is episode number 29. Now insulin pumps are becoming more and more common these days, but if you've just decided that you want to get one, you've still got one very important decision to make, and that is of course which pump you're going to get. Now granted there are only a handful of pump models out there, but they have very different features and it can make a big difference which one you pick. Now I can't tell you exactly which pump is going to be right for you because that depends on you. But I can give you a list of features that you want to look out for that can kind of influence your decision quite a bit. Consider this episode your insulin pump buying guide. Now one of the first questions you need to ask yourself is do you want a pump or a pod? Now let me explain what that means. An insulin pump is a device, well basically two separate devices. One device has the cartridge of insulin, it has the screen and the controls and that sort of thing. And then quite separately you have the site where the insulin actually goes in you. Now these two are kept separate and they're connected through a piece of tubing. When most people think of an insulin pump, this is what they think of. But there's also a device called the Omnipod. And then as far as I know, there's only one brand called the Omnipod. Now the difference between this and an insulin pump is that the cartridge and the site are kind of one unit, one pod basically, that attaches to your skin. You then control that wirelessly with a screen and controls that are in a little handheld remote. Now the advantage of this compared to an insulin pump is that there's no tubing, which a lot of athletes prefer because then the tubing doesn't get in their way. And sometimes the tubing can get in your way. Personally though, I prefer the more traditional pump. Another question you need to ask yourself is what cartridge size do you want? Now this is important because remember you have to swap out the site on an insulin pump every three days. So ideally one cartridge will last you three days. That way you can swap out both the cartridge and the site at once and you don't have to keep two different schedules in your head. That can get a little bit confusing. Now there are basically two sizes of cartridges, 300 unit and 200 unit cartridges. Now, me, for example, I used to have, uh, my original pump had a 300 unit cartridge, which was just about perfect for me. But then I got a new pump that only had a 200 unit cartridge, and that didn't last me quite as long. As such, the schedules where I swap out my sights and my cartridges kind of got out of sync. It can get pretty confusing pretty quickly. So take the time, figure out roughly how much insulin you're gonna use in three days, and then figure out, okay, can I get away with the 200 unit cartridge or do I need to spring for the 300? The last thing that you wanna look for when buying a pump is what type of site that pump works with because not all pumps work with all types of sites. Now the difference between the types of sites is basically how that site gets the insulin past your skin. For example, some sites use uh, a soft cannula, which is like a little short rubber tube. Uh, other sites use actually just a small needle. Some sites go straight in, the cannula or needle will go straight into your skin. Others go in at like a 45 or a 35 degree angle. It all kind of depends on what's more comfortable for you and also what will work best, depending on your skin type, your body type, what's gonna get the insulin into your system the best. And that's a decision that you can't really make on your own. Definitely talk to your doctor about that one because they'll be able to figure that out for you. Now obviously there are hundreds of other features that insulin pumps have, but those are the three that you really want to keep your eye on when you're looking for a new pump model. Now until next time, be sure to visit our website at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'll have links where you can learn more about uh, the major brands of pumps, the Omnipod, there's another one called the Animus, Medtronic, I'll have links to all those places. And of course you can watch all of our previous episodes there as well. And if you have any questions or comments for me about the show, send me an email at cameron at Podcast. Dot com. I'll catch you guys later, and good luck staying in range.